Today, Wise News Network is at the Livermush Festival 2022 in Shelby, North Carolina. It's called Mush, Music, and Mutts. Yes. I'm Rusty Wise. And I'm Jermaine Gash. And one goal of ours today is to distinguish what's the difference between liver mush, mm-hmm. liver pudding, and scrapple. Yeah. And we have a line of probably 100, 150 mm-hmm. people behind us getting ready to eat some liver mush. And we're going to find out from them exactly what they're eating, if they know what they're eating, yep. and the difference between liver pudding, liver mush, and scrapple. And scrapple. We don't know, and maybe they can tell us. What do you think, Jermaine? Let's find out. Livermush Festival with Brenda Lale, Brenda, and Joyce. And Joyce, how long have you guys been coming to the Livermush Festival? Our first time. Your first time? Yes. Where are you ladies from? Conover. Conover. Uh, have you guys been eating Livermush for a long time or? Livermush. Okay, we're trying to find out the difference between Livermush, liver pudding, and scrapple. Do you guys know what it is? I don't care for the liver pudding. I'd rather have the regular liver mush. Do you know what the difference is? No, not really. <laughs> Do you know what the difference is? Oh, well, the liver pudding has more fillers in it than liver mush. So is it more, is it thicker than, like, I guess liver mush, or? It just has added, like, uh, more, more, ingredients. more ingredients. And the liver mush, I think, is more liver than the liver pudding. I don't know. Gotcha. Do you guys know what you're getting from this booth here? Yeah, I've already asked. They said it was the regular liver mush. Okay, the regular liver mush. Is it? Are you guys getting a sandwich or? Probably, yeah. Probably. Well, thanks for chatting with us, guys. Enjoy your liver mush. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are here with Brennan Cruz. Brennan Cruz. Now, Brennan, you're a musician. That's right. Beautiful set, by the way. Thank you. And where are you from? We are from Marion, Kentucky. Kentucky. Wow, so are you down here uh, on a gig? or? We were here at the Livermush Festival playing music this morning. Beautiful, by the way. So, this is your first time having Livermush, correct? It will be the first. Okay. Do you know how you'll have it? Like like in sandwich form? or? Tell me how I should have it. <laughs> well, uh, well, there's so many different ways. Actually, we're, we're trying to find out if people know the difference between Livermush liver pudding and scrapple have you heard any of those before i've heard of all three of them oh wow and have you had any of the other two i have not okay do you know the difference between any of the others i do not okay well neither do i so yeah let's give it a shot well thanks for hanging out with us enjoy your liver munch thank you very much you're welcome Everyone, I have Jennifer and Fred, and they're going to tell you a little bit of the festival and what they do. Hey there. Um, so we help manage the pet festival portion of Mush Music and Mutt's Liver Mush Festival. This is our 11th year of doing the pet festival, and we invite everyone and anyone to come out and participate in a pet parade, pet costume contest, musical sit, the whole nine yards. And Fred can tell you about our vendors. Well, we also have Dynamo Dogs here. We have Care with his Clifford's Army Rescue. It's a place of foster dogs and have to find homes for them. We have Association for Welfare Animals is Hill here. They have a spay and neuter program. We also have Cleveland County uh, Animal Shelter here as well. And uh, we just a, a lot of vendors. Uh, we have food vendors, Champion Pet Foods, for being, thank them for being here. And uh, just all of our vendors, Dynamo Dogs, awesome uh, dogs there that they take rescue dogs and turn them into trick dogs. And it's just an amazing, uh, amazing turnout. I know I'm leaving some people out, but it's just it takes a, it takes a lot of people to make this happen, and great community effort to make this happen. And so we we really appreciate it. A lot of pets I see. Uh, don't see too many cats. Where's the cats? Well, we do say it's a pet festival, so you are welcome to bring a cat. We have had a cat in years past, and we've had a pig before, and we've had a parrot show up. So we we do say all pets are welcome, so it just depends on the owner and if they brave all the dogs. I've got a question about liver mush. Okay. Do you know what the difference between liver mush, liver pudding, and scrapple is? 
Well, not really, but other than liver mush has more cornmeal in it rather than the liver pudding. So it's more of a, uh, gosh, I don't even know how to describe it, but there's only one. It's liver mush. That's all you need to worry about. Just liver mush. There you have it. That's it. Hello guys, we have Deb Harding here, and she's going to tell us all about her organization and what she does. Uh, I am with Clifford's Army Rescue. We are a all-volunteer 501 nonprofit rescue, uh, specifically dogs, uh, and we also advocate uh, and educate. Uh, this here is uh, for the children that come by today. It's a free, free thing we do, and they pick out one of the stuffed dogs. Uh, and then we have like the little stethoscope, like a play bed and a little adoption certificate. And um, we fill out, let them name their dogs. And what we try to do is then take the puppy after they name it and pretend it goes to the vet and explain that, you know, you have to do, it's more than just getting a puppy. You know, you have to, you have to go have the, the, the doctor check the, the puppy out and it has to have shots and things like that. So we hope that helps educate the kids because we're currently, an all, like I said, an all-volunteer rescue, and we have almost 100 dogs in our rescue right now. Um, people calling, wanting to own a surrender, to finding them on the side of the road, and from taking them from county shelters that run out of room. Well, that's amazing because a lot of people want pets, and a lot of times they, they're not educated on how to take care of a pet. How can people find you? Do you have a website? Tell us more about yourself. We have a website. It's www.cliffordsarmyrescue.com. We are also on Facebook at Clifford's Army Rescue. Great organization. Deb, appreciate what you guys do, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. We appreciate it. the owner of Max Liver Mush. How are you today? Fine, how are you? You guys are busy. I'm well. You guys are busy. Good, busy. How much liver mush do you think you'll hand out today, sell today? I would say, hopefully, between, I'd say, five and 6,000 sandwiches. You've got a, a whole team here, so you're prepared. A lot of friends and workers. A lot of friends and workers. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Uh, we started, my dad actually started this festival 25 years ago. That, I think 25, 24, 26, somewhere in there. And except, exception for a couple years, we've been doing it every year. Wow. So the last two we've missed because of COVID. But uh, we're back. So I'm assuming your dad is Mac. Bill McKee, and they say Mac for short for McKee. But, uh, and I'm third generation. My grandfather started the company in 1933. Wow. Has it always been here in Cleveland County or in Shelby? Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. We've been asking uh, some attendees here, what's the difference between liver mush, liver pudding, and scrapple? Would you happen to know? The name. The name? All the company use a little bit different ingredients, a little bit more of this, less of this, a little bit more of this, but basically, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Some people make scrapple, they use, we use cornmeal as a filler, some use rice, but mainly, it's, there's more difference in ingredients than there are names and different companies use different you know formulas so just little tweaks basically very similar yeah very similar we use we try to use a lot of meat we don't we don't we hadn't changed anything through the year this is our main product and we try to use a little meat i'm not going to say than other companies we try to use a lot of meat less filler well where can people find you um when you're not here at the festival any little store big store uh food line ingles walmart follow any of the chain stores all the small stores, uh, the little mom and pop stores in the country and on the back roads, we try to be everywhere. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. All right, well, enjoy the rest of your day. All righty, guys, we have Emily here. She's the event organizer for the Liver Bus Festival. She's going to tell you a little bit about the festival and herself and the organization. 
Well, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so the Livermush Festival has been around for over 30 years. It was started by Max Livermush, and it's not been the same as it is today, but it has varied over the years. And um, I've only been responsible for it since 2019. And so I had six months to plan that one because I was a new employee. And then we had two years of not being in person. So this is my first full-blown festival with a whole year to plan since I started. Wow. Now, with COVID, now is this the first year it's been back since COVID? It is. So we're very excited. What's the attendance expectance here? Well, in 2019, when the weather was not this gorgeous, it was a little overcast and a little drizzly, uh, we have a mobile data tool that was able to identify 12,000 unique mobile devices in the festival area. So that means at least 12,000 people were in the festival area, plus those that maybe didn't have mobile devices. Now, I do have a question. What is the difference between liver mush, liver pudding, and scrapple? Yeah, so the short answer is ingredients. <laughs> um, they do tend to have very similar ingredients. A lot of what I've noticed looking at the ingredient list is the ratio of what's in those. So if it has um, chicken stock, or, or a stock is the first ingredient, it's probably going to be mushier, softer. Whereas if it has liver and then like cornmeal is the next ingredient, it's probably going to be a little more... Um, dense and uh, crunchy if you cook it up crispy. All right, we are concluding the Livermush Festival. Jermaine, what did you think? You know what? I'm happy that we could actually finally get the answer to what the difference was between Livermush, Scrapple, and Liver Pudding. I think we found our answer. We talked to a lot of people, some of the officials, some of the non-officials, and I think we know what it is. Now, here's my take on it. Livermush has more cornmeal. Mm -hmm. Liver pudding has less cornmeal. Okay. And scrapple is a combination between the two, but it has no liver. So, so scrapple has no liver. In it. So it all boils down to minor little ingredients, really. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Well, there you have it. And is it healthy for you? It may be, may not be. But I have read some reports where it has a lot of nutrients, and uh, they add a lot of herbs and spices so it actually has some health benefits if you believe that or not so it could be healthy it could not taste good we've been busy but we're getting ready to go eat some liver mush finally so we did this before we went and ate so we'll look decent because we'll probably have it all over us oh yeah <laughs> thanks guys from wise news network i'm rusty wise and i'm jermaine gash thank you guys